afternoon. I'm Rose from Grandma Rose's Open Pantry. And Roy and I uh, was driving a little bit ago, and we both said, we wish we had some more of that chicken parmesan like I made the other day because we were craving it. And I said, well, when we get home, I'll, I'll uh, see what I can come up with. He said, honey, why don't you take some ground turkey and make some patties and have like ground turkey patties and just put your sauce and make your pasta and make it just like you did the chicken parmesan. And I said, well, and we'll call it like turkey parmesan. I said, I've never heard that called out. He said, well, we can call it anything we want to. So that's what we're doing. We've got some uh, ground turkey here. And I'm going to start out by putting pepper, probably, I don't know, that's, and salt. Uh, that's probably a, a half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of ground pepper. Now to this, I'm going to add uh, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a te teaspoon of onion powder. Now I've never made this, so... But it's going to be delicious because of everything I'm putting in it. So, But y'all know me. I try stuff all the time that I've never done. Well, if you're caught at home with some turkey and sure. no chicken breast, there's no sign you can't make something. That's that right. And because this is an Italian dish, I put half a teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of cumin. Now, I've got a quarter cup of diced, finely diced onions. I'm going to put an egg in it, and I'm going to, as my binder in, with the egg, I'm using coconut flour today, and I'm going to put, this is going to be gluten-free, and it's going to be real low-carb. The reason I'm using coconut flour, it binds a little bit better than almond flour because uh it absorbs some of your uh some of your juices better and it just it just it's a better binder than the almond flour is it's ground a little finer finer so uh it tends to to bind things better now uh oh here it is now to this i'm going to add i'm going to start off with three tablespoons of worcestershire in this is that because three is an even number <laughs> no <laughs> i just think three will be good in it so now my hands are clean because when i do patties like this i always use my hands i've got my grease on and we were at aldi's yesterday after church and y'all know the other day i cooked soybean pasta well we found this is organic black soybean spaghetti. By the same company, Simply Nature. Simply Nature. And it's got 25 grams of protein in one serving. And there's four servings in this bag right here. So, and it's got no added sugars. Uh, and it's got 11 grams of fiber. So, if you're counting carbs... When you, it's got 19 grams of carbs, but when you take your 11 grams of fiber away from that, there's only eight net carbs in one serving of this. It is so, low glycemic index and low glycemic load, which means it's good for diabetics, it's good for anybody that's fighting an insulin resistance, and it's good on the carb diet because the carb load is so low. So I've got my water back here, and I've got some uh, basil infused olive oil in it, and I've got yeah, I'm gonna cook it. You cook it uh, five to six five to six minutes, and right here I've got some basil infused uh, olive oil in my pan, and it's getting hot. So now I'm just gonna take and mash this up good now i may put some more almond flour in it we'll see or i may put another egg in it's what i may do because i we this is i really want this to bind together good 
so and it looks a little a little dry now but it may work I'm going to put another egg in it. Because turkey is a lot drier meat than uh, your ground beef or sausage or something like that. Ground chicken is a drier a meat. Oil in it too if you to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. to. I could. Yeah. I'm going to try it like this and see if I can get it. Like I say, I'm this is first time trying it, so uh, if it doesn't work this way, we'll try something else. But it looks like it's it's gone, like it's coming together good. Well, I just want it to stay together, so when I make my patties, uh, they're not gonna fall apart. I really just want them. A blob to flatten out. Yes. Mm -hmm. so it's, it's looking yeah. good for that. Yeah, it is. It is. But we'll see. Okay. All right. I don't want to over mix it too much. Now. Oh, and I want to put some Parmesan cheese. That's about a fourth of a cup of um, shredded Parmesan cheese. You can use grated Parmesan cheese if you want to. Or you don't have to put any in it. But since this is kind of Italian, I thought we would try this today. With the oregano and the uh, the cumin. Basil. I said cumin. I'm sorry. It's basil. Basil is my favorite herb. I love it. Okay. We'll see if this is going to stick together. So, honey, if you'll come around on this side... We'll see how this is going to work. And if it's not going to stick together, then I'll put something else to help bind it together. But it looks like it will. Okay. Now I've got it on five, which is medium. I'm going to turn it up to six, which is just medium on my stove. And I'm not making these patties real big. I'm just kind of making them small. Because we don't eat, we don't eat a big portion. And it's going to have cheeses on it. It's going to have marinara sauce. And we're going to be eating it with that, uh, with that pasta. So, okay. Black soy pasta. Yep. Low carb. We've never eaten it, but we sure going to try it tonight. So. <laughs> Low glycemic load, low carb, keto-esque. It's it's good on a keto diet because of the type of carbs it is and how low the load is. Okay. I'm going to finish putting these in here, and we'll be back in just a minute. You started taking up, Grandma? I have. Okay. Okay, you're going in the parmesan and the uh, uh marinara. marinara sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is my homemade marinara sauce that y'all I've got a video on it that y'all saw me can earlier. Um, uh, and that you can make for yourself, yeah, yep, you can make for yourself. And I think when I did the chicken parmesan, I gave the marinara sauce recipe, I'm almost sure I did, but if I didn't, I'll go back and check it and I'll give you the recipe for the marinara sauce. So, okay, now, I didn't get a big enough pan, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put, we'll have this tomorrow, um, or I will go ahead and cook these, and then I will put them in the freezer, and so next time we get ready for some, uh, some pasta with marinara sauce, I will take these out, thaw them. And just put a little marinara sauce on them, and they'll be ready to go. So, because Roy and I want this, these four right here will be enough for us. And she decided not to put any flour on it, like like a chicken crust uh, when she does chicken breast. No, I didn't want a coating on it. Okay, I just wanted, want it, yeah, I just wanted it like this. Yeah. So this is how to do it without a coating. Okay. Now that was Parmesan cheese, and this is pepper jack cheese. So this is a little twist, 
This is pepper jack cheese that I'm putting over ours. And I'm going to put it in the oven for uh, until my cheese melts. I've got my oven on 375. I'm going to finish cooking these. And uh, my pasta is ready. I've got it turned off. I'm fixing to uh, drain it. And I'm putting these in my oven on 375. We're going to be eating. Just minutes. till my cheese melts. Maybe 10 minutes. And then uh, we're going to eat. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you what uh, all this looks like. How my pasta, how I put it on the plate. You already and have a salad. I already have a green salad. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Yeah, made. Good so good. I'm going to finish cooking these. And then uh, we'll see y'all in a few minutes. I'm going to use a, a spoon for this. Okay. Well, you're already on camera. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Now this. Look, Grandmama, this is good looking stuff. This is our turkey patties, our ground turkey patties with our black soybean pasta. Now, you just. Now, that you can get, and we'll show you the boxes in a minute. This comes in gray or I mean white or black so you don't have to use this particular color but this particular color is uh, lower carb load it's like black rice is lower carb load yeah you eat rice. brown rice you eat black uh, rice why not eat a uh, black soybean pasta I mean goodness because uh, it is absolutely we've already tasted of it it is delicious and you know what the flavor is no different than either one of these. Well, this one, this I one have. White. Uh, this one is soybean spaghetti, but I have an edamame, which edamame are, is soybeans mm -hmm. and it's green. Mm -hmm. So I have one of those in the pantry also. So, so black, green, black, and green, and white. Mm -hmm. But it's all soybean. So, uh, this, oh, this is, is going to be. Let's see if I can get a good. I'm going to put this over I'm here. Zoom in. We'll, we'll, we'll zoom out. All right. There this is going to be mine. Oh. Mm. Hey, mm. quit eating. Mm -hmm. I'm behind the camera. Mm. Mm. That was so good. This is going to be mine and Roy's supper tonight. I'm telling you, I'm ready for it. Quick, easy. I'm going to take the camera, honey. I'm going to get you a fork. I'm gonna let you taste of it. Mm. Uh, I think this one's yours. This bigger. Okay. Okay. Roy's gonna taste of it now, and he's gonna tell us how it's our new not, yeah how our new how our new dish is. Mm. Okay. So this is ground turkey parmesan. <laughs> That's what we're gonna call it. Ground turkey parmesan. Low carb, well, it's, it I mean, it's, it's I'll very, explain, very I'll, low carb. I'll explain the carb load in just a second. Mm. Mm. So if you don't have chicken and you got ground beef or ground turkey mm. or ground chicken, oh, you know what? You can have a, you can have something like this whipped up in no time. Mm. And I've got the ones over here that I'm, cooked and I'm going to put in the freezer. So I'll put those in the freezer when we get through eating. That good? Is, that is exactly what we wanted for supper. Okay, good. Good. Now for those of you who are real strict keto people and go by carbs, okay, carb load, if you if you look up Dr. Ben Bickman uh, on the uh, on the web, you'll he, he's a he's a um, metabolism expert is probably the best in the world and he explains that carb load uh, makes a difference in the, the actual carbs that your body feels and i'll give you an example watermelon rose eats lots and lots of watermelon and it's high carb doesn't count because the carb load is so low so you can be on a diet and eat watermelon and it sounds crazy, 
But it is the truth. It's the way it affects your it's the uh, way your, body your uh, insulin level That's right. in your body. That's yes. Right. So yeah. carb load, low carb load, is as good as low carb. Uh, but that's the reason the I can eat pasta. It's the reason I can eat beans. The reason I can eat watermelon, fruits. So that's the reason um, diabetics can eat it. Yes. Because it, it also fights uh, insulin resistance, which right. is affecting everybody in the United States now in yeah. a bad way. So okay. this, this is a winner? This is a winner. Okay. I just want to eat it. I just want to show it to y'all again. I'm going to put some of your cranberry salad dressing on it. Oh, yeah. Okay. We are fixing to eat. So, y'all, please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, give me a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. And Roy and I are fixing to eat. We'll see you next time.